I don't care if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, after this video, you will understand exactly how the lats work and how to maximize muscle growth doing any back exercise. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm sure you've heard it before and I actually watched the video of the day. It was Dorian Yates talking about a pull down. My editor will put it right here. So uh, yeah, why, why am I doing this and I'm not doing this? Mm. Because this is a very short range of motion. Also, I'm okay. putting the biceps in a weaker so? position. So if I go here, much bigger range of motion, biceps in a Two better different position. Exercises. You don't ever, ever, Need to do Ever. this fucking exercise. Waste of time. Put your hands here. Waste of time. Oh. Squeeze. And in the comments section, it was basically him saying, if I pull from here, I'm not getting a good range of motion. There's a big mix up of that, but as well, at the same time, that in the comments section, if I do an exercise like this, a pull up, a pull down, it's only working the teres. And if I do underhand grip, I'm working the lats. And then deeper in the section, it was this exercise isolates this and this hits more lower lats. This hits the upper lats. This hits the inner lats. This hits the whatever lats. And it's like, I don't think people really understand how it actually works. Here's what the lats do, where they're connected and how they move. And then I'll show you every exercise on why this is what you should pay attention to. And help me explain exactly what the lats actually do. Come here for a second, please. Thank you very much. We're gonna show you exactly where the lats are on your body and we're showing you exactly what they do. All right, number one, your lat muscles, they attach to, they start at your T7. Don't worry about that. All you know is it's around your, your it's around your T spine, like right here. And it goes all the way down, right above your tailbone. You can put your hands down. And then it connects to your, waist, basically your hip bones, and then they all join up here, right underneath your arm by your bicep. They connect right there. That's where they connect. Okay, so now that we understand, there's no hocus pocus, there's no opinion, this is just science, this is how our bodies work. When I come over and do a pull up, whether I'm pronated like this, I'm supinated like this, Maybe I'm neutral grip like this. No matter what grip that I grab, the only difference that's going to make for each grip is how many other muscle groups are going to assist and how much you're going to assist in that lift. Understand what I'm saying? If I'm doing this, my teres major and minor, I mean my teres major and my lats are working no matter what. Whether it's this grip, this grip, this grip, this grip, or even this grip, my lats are working, the entire lats, the upper lats, the lower lats, they, they all exist together. From the teres major to the entire lats, they work. The difference is I'm using forearm and biceps, and my shoulders are somewhat internally rotated. I'm getting a lot more biceps, little forearms, I'm externally rotated, so I'm getting a little bit of shoulders and a little bit of teres minor. I'm still doing lats, still doing teres major, but now I'm getting forearms, forearms, biceps, but also traps, rhomboids, and rear delts. And there was a biggest difference. If I go over here and I do one arm lat prayers, because I don't feel like getting another bar. If I do this, my lats, are working because the only way to pull this bone is my lat. My lat pulls the bone like this. My lat pulls the bone down like this. I can go over here and do the same thing. And I go and grab a dumbbell and we're just doing rows. And from here, I'm rowing. That rowing movement is shoulder extension. I'm pulling that back. I'm doing the same movement regardless of how I'm loading it, it's doing the exact same thing. It's either doing this, or it's doing this, or it's doing this. So the next time you go and do an exercise and you're, if you're doing these and someone tells you, oh, you're not working, you're working lower lats. They're like, I'm working, I'm working mid trap lats. You're like, nah, bro, you're working lats. You're working the entire lats and your Terry's major. You're doing this. Someone's like, man, 
that's good. And you go over and like, oh, what next exercise I'm gonna do? And, and you plop over and you're like, I'm gonna do dumbbell pullovers. You sit back and you start doing them. Oh yeah, and someone's like, man, it's a good exercise. I mean, you get a lot of the terries. It's like, no, I'm getting lats. I'm getting lats still. Lats and terries are doing the same thing. There's no exercise that does lats. There's no exercise that does terries individually. They both do the exact same thing. The only difference is, is the terries connected. The terries origin point comes from your shoulder blade and the lats origin point comes from your T7 spine all the way down to your lumbar, connecting to your hip. If you ever wanna know how you can swing your hips, guess what it does that? Your lats. Your lats move your hip like this. That's all lats. My lats connect all the way from here to do this. All the way up my T spine to under my armpits and they pull the bones down and Terry's is connected to my shoulder blade and then to the same area. And that's it. Don't try to reinvent the wheel or make things complicated when it comes to your back exercises. There's ways you can load the lats and that's about it. The difference is, is how many extra muscle groups or other muscle groups you're gonna bring in the party that will aid that exercise or add to it. Think about all the things that are closing the scapula. Think of all the things that are closing the shoulder blades. And that's it. Hope that was simple to understand. Hope you guys have a better understanding of how the lats work. You don't get bamboozled by any more weird influ influences that say they know everything about exercises and they probably don't. And you can just enjoy training back and finding the exercise that you like the most, that lowers the muscle in the proper way and gives you the back that you want, deserve, and maybe need. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, I'm gonna come with a tug. It is Transparent Vulnerable Truth. And for coaching, johnashi.com. If you wanna know more about my coaching, guys, book yourself a one hour video consult with myself. And at the end of the consult, I deduct 100 bucks off any package that you pick. Also guys, hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes that'll save your life or change your life for the better. And guys, I've been Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips. And our pills are for you, because you know how it is. Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep you chasing. Peace. Thank you.